Kilauea eruption. How dangerous is Hawaii's volcano? Hawaii's Kilauea volcano, which began a series of dramatic eruptions on December 23rd, has entered its fourth eruptive episode this week, with lava fountains and flows gushing from the summit caldera of Kaluapele. Newsweek reached out to the United States Geological Survey via email for further comment on the ongoing situation. Kilauea's eruption has significant implications for local residents, visitors, and the broader ecosystem. While the lava flows do not threaten homes or infrastructure, the volcanic gas emissions create dangerous VOG, volcanic smog, which can cause respiratory problems, especially for vulnerable individuals. According to the USGS's Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, the eruption is still confined to Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, with no immediate threat to nearby communities. However, volcanic gas emissions in Pele's hair, a type of volcanic glass, have been spotted in the surrounding area, including the volcano golf course. The USGS's latest update, issued at 9.15 a.m. Hawaii Standard Time on Thursday, also said the eruption is showing alternating episodes of increasing and decreasing activity. The current phase began with slow lava flows, from the volcano's north vent that transitioned to more rapid eruptions from the north and south vents. Earlier this week, field observations recorded fountains reaching 330 feet high, though activity has since waned, according to the USGS. As of Thursday morning, the fountains had decreased to between 140 and 160 feet high, with the north and south vents remaining active. Lava flows are confined to the southwest crater floor near the active vent. Pele's hair has fallen in the surrounding area, posing a hazard due to its glassy composition. The USGS warns visitors and residents to avoid contact with brittle but sharp glass fibers, as they can cause skin irritation and eye injuries. Kilauea has a history of frequent eruptions. Since 2020, there have been six summit eruptions within the caldera, with durations ranging from a week to more than a year. Historically, summit eruptions can exhibit vigorous activity in the early days, followed by episodic lulls or gradual declines. Although the eruption is still confined to the Kaluapele caldera, some hazards still exist. The main concern is the release of sulfur dioxide gas, which reacts in the atmosphere to form ash. Long-term exposure to the ash can irritate the eyes, throat, and lungs, especially for those with pre-existing respiratory conditions. The National Park Service warns that Pele's hair can cause injury if it becomes airborne and comes into contact with the skin or eyes. Pele's hair is formed when gas bubbles near the surface of a lava flow rupture, causing them to stretch the molten lava skin into long strands. Pele's hair strands are very thin, usually about a micron across, but can grow to be several feet long. This fascinating and dangerous byproduct of the eruption is named after the Hawaiian volcano goddess Pele. In addition, the caldera area poses risks such as unstable ground, hidden lava tubes, and rockfalls. This underscores the extremely dangerous nature of the Kilauea caldera rim surrounding the Halamaumau crater, an area that has been closed to the public since late 2007, the USGS said in its update. The National Park Service urges caution due to the park's active volcanic environment. Visitors should stay informed about current volcanic activity through official updates from the USGS and the National Park Service. Avoid areas with high levels of volcanic gas, be aware of unstable terrain, protect yourself from Pele's hair, and stay on marked trails and lookouts. The Hawaiian Volcano Observatory continues to monitor the eruption at Kilauea and is communicating with other authorities regarding ongoing hazards.